Celebrating Black History on Wish TV. Presented by Indiana Funeral Care, INHP, and Heaven on Earth. Well, getting an education for a time was outlawed for black people. Those who did learn to read and write had to learn in secret. While no longer the case, historians say some of the impacts of that time still has remnants in education today. News 8's Katira Winfrey has more. Historians say during slavery, educating black people was part of the path to liberation. And education advocates say limited expectations, negative assumptions, and stereotypes of black students often have roots that stretch back to slavery and segregation. And although there's been a lot of progress, there's still work to do. For generations, the nation's racial dividing line was thick, not just in daily life, but also in education. Patricia Payne grew up with predominantly black teachers. I have nothing but beautiful memories of my childhood and my school experiences. Years after the Brown versus Board of Education mandated the integration of schools, Payne had her first white teacher after enrolling in Short Ridge High School, where black teachers weren't allowed to teach. It was a good education. Education, it just wasn't the same because we were a few of the black students who were who were there. Lasana Kasenbi is an Africana studies professor at IUPUI. He says school integration came with possibly unintended consequences. It created a purge as countless black educators and administrators were pushed out. So when you see this, the hollowing out of that large of a technical class with all that expertise and all that experience now replaced with who? Younger, whiter people who do not live in the community, who have no cultural connection to the people, and who have no cultural context of the of the young people that they're sitting in front of every day. Payne started teaching at IPS in 1962. Immediately, she knew work needed to be done. But the first thing I noticed was that even though my whole classroom was at black, None of the textbooks, none of the curriculum reflected that. She eventually helped create a black history curriculum guide in the 70s and to this day continues to dedicate her life to education. So what we call Africana studies or black studies, all that is is the missing pages of world history. Kasembi agrees, saying you'd always find slavery in the history books, but the deeper history wasn't there and to some degree is still missing even today. Last summer, the IPS school board voted to approve the racial equity policy, which in part aims to reduce racism and cultural bias. Payne serves as its director. Reporting in the studio, Katira Winfrey, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Katira, thank you. Your statewide news network covers Allen County, the city of Fort Wayne, looking for artists to help create a memorial to honor the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. They want the sculpture to include quotes from a speech King gave in Fort Wayne back in 1963. Submissions due March 21st. The committee will then meet to select the finalists. The city's Public Art Commission is raising money to create and install the memorial.